What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Nero. We are gonna. What are we gonna do? We're gonna play. Continue from the latest save game. Yes, please. Hopefully, we're not too far away. We're at the big crying statue thing. Uh, had waterfalls coming out of its eyes or whatever. So we'll see where we are. And if I have to, I'll kind of you know fast forward it till we get to where we gotta go. I believe it saves pretty much wherever you end kind of thing. It has an auto save feature, so uh, I think we were doing some statue work or some shit. Let's see where we pop up. Seems pretty cool so far with the narrative the way it is. Okay, where the hell are we? Okay, I th think... My balls. Caterpillar. So we are right where we were before. Once the mechanism was solved, the brigands had to walk a long tunnel filled by those glowing caterpillars. Nope, wrong one. There it is. I'm trying to find the run button. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I do like the graphics on this. Uh, it's what provides the atmosphere, I find. You know, it really gives it that cool kind of vibe. Peaceful, yet kind of creepy. You know what I mean? I mean, if you were to just appear in this world, you'd be like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> There's something over here. Seems like somebody might have hid something over here, like a picture. Nope, apparently not. Not today. What about up here? Sorry, I'm just kind of checking things as I go because I know there's those little hidden objects or pictures and whatever, but just thought maybe there might be uh, something around. And that's what these games are about, and especially in my eyes, it's that um, it's meant for expo exploration purposes. And I, if you really want to get your money's worth out of a game, you don't really want to speedrun it, in my opinion. You want to take in as much of the atmosphere as you can and, like, you know, look around and see what's all around you and uh, take in what it is that makes the game really immerse yourself in it. What was ahead was so magnificent that it defied human imagination. What's up, Caddy? Anything back here? No. You so pretty. Over here. That's how I pick up my girls. My little lady friends. You so pretty. You wanna come with me? <laughs> yeah. The real hideout of the brigands. A village in a cave larger than anything you had ever seen. Yeah, you ain't shitting like that. Huge pillars made of stone on the sides of the area gave the brigands shivers, like if it, like if God, a god himself, had built the place. Okay, I can't get in there yet. You could understand that this, this place was built centuries ago, maybe even millennia, before the brigands finally discovered it. go in any of these oops that's my puzzle pieces and nope can't walk that way so let's try going nope no exploration for me today very cool though I mean you want to go off the grid this is the place to do it shit an opening in the rocks gave enough light, and several ponds of fresh water served the brigands well. Look the size of that caterpillar. God damn. I guess you could kill one and eat it. Oh, cool. Well, that might defeat the whole purpose. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, we are going that way, so let's see. Can we go anywhere here? Is there anything around? 
water looks awesome. Did a really good job on the water. Hmm. Walk to your father. You can do it. Come on, sweetie. I might gotta go over there, maybe. Is that backwards? Yeah, it is. Hey, who that? Who that? Neither had known their purpose in life until they finally found the one thing they were willing to die for. David. Is that their child? It's kind of an odd collection of things. I bet you I'm walking to that light too. Yeah, see? It is backwards too. It's a satanic message hidden in there too. Hi. Dude, you look creepy as shit. Are you gonna follow me now? Do you wanna see my balls? <laughs> nope. Alright, let's see. Ahead of the brigands was a strong and adventurous man named David. You have a dog named Goliath. He's growing up so fast, isn't he? Yeah, you are following me. Okay. Normally I'd find that creepy, but I think he's here for guidance. Look at that. That is crazy town. David decided to live deep into the caves, protecting his hidden treasure in a giant vault. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, is this where we're going now? Very cool, look at that. The textures are amazing. What have we got here? Cool. Hey dude, wanna stand on that for me? Thanks. Appreciate it. I'll stand on this one. You come through. Are you in? Okay. Watch out for the door. Whoa, just about clipped your ass there, buddy. Okay. I'll stand on the right. You stand on the left. Uh. Oh, cool. Wait. Although they never had much. They felt rich beyond measure during those early years. Blessed, she would say, and often did. Thanks for the tutorial on how to use this guy. Shit. <laughs> I get the tutorial after I figure out how to do it. Can you climb the wall for me? Mommy, come give me a hug, sweater. Um, so I found myself a companion. That's pretty cool. As long as he doesn't talk, or she, or it. I don't want to define. Stay there. I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm doing. You know the truth. Wait a minute. I wonder. There you go. If indeed they truly were blessed. Where and when did they go wrong? How did they anger whatever deity that once had blessed them?
Okay, we're both dead. Falling glass is never a good thing. Okay, so this is now done. Done and over with. Do we need to push these? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, let's just keep moving along. Get right into the story here. This is cool. No one knew why, but Davy became a man of solitude. Some said he was sick. Yep, all the dirt and rumors. People don't know the truth. They create their own. I've been a part of that myself. Both on one side or the other. Go we'll give your mom a kiss. It's bedtime. Okay, daddy, here I go. Green mushrooms. Cheers. I'm not. I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to that dude there. Okay. Before we go anywhere, let's go up here for a sec. Anything? No. Nothing. All right. Holy shit, dude! So close. So close. Three foot roll. Remember. Soon enough, David decided to talk to his brigand talk to his brigands. He was indeed sick. Oh, okay, so he, there was some truth to that. But still, don't spread rumors, people. You want to know what the truth is? Go talk to the individual. Read me another story, Dad. One more. Sickness is my strength, he said, showing his muscles to the comrades. I will endure all and endure for all of you because we are family. Oh. Was that him? Cool, there's a caterpillar up there. Is this where we're going? It's the tree of life. And it's dead. Okay. Long and dark was the road David walked to meet his fellow brigands. But the sense of love they felt for each other helped. Which one do you want? The one with the cave pirates or the magical forest? Oh, it's a story time! Uh oh, we got a puzzle there. And we got something there. Okay, so let's go over here first. See if this actually leads to anything. What is you? Nothing. Is there a reason why you're over there? Huh? Okay. Let's go over here then. Apparently that's not a thing. We can't do that. Mm, fine. All particular and shit. Let's go down here. Really awesome work on this. Look at this. And like how badass would this be? Ruins of an ancient civilization were scattered throughout the caves. A reminder of the power of human ambition. Yeah, 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 yeah. And think about that too. Like in the 1800s, think of where we were as humans. And look where we are now. You need to finish your dinner, son. But I don't feel like it. Shut up and eat the goddamn food. <laughs> Fine, you don't get none of mommy's cake. That's right. He's burning up. Here, feel his forehead. Uh-oh. Something makes me think that they lost their son. Ruins of an ancient civilization were scattered throughout the caves. A reminder of the power of... Yeah, we already read that. Did we go backwards? No, I don't think so. Very cool. Yeah, I'll call the doctor. In a family, I believe... Wait, in a family I believe, in love I trust, he kept saying, like a mantra passing on good karma on to his fallen, failing body. Okay. 
Yeah, so he's calling the doctor. This can't be a good thing. Very cool little house here, damn. There was something magical about that place, something romantic about the songs the brigands sang the evening. Nothing that I can get there? No. Uh, but we will go up here. I got myself a picture piece. Ooh, this is a big chunk. Nice. Oops. Nothing there. Okay. Now where do we go? Going this way. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, sweetie. It it will pass soon. All right. There, there. Go back to sleep. No one knew how much treasure was hidden in the vault at the end of the caves, but no one thought it. In thought it to be important. Only David's health mattered. You should get some rest, honey. I'll keep watch over him. Whoa. Full-blown bookshelves. Grandma's rocking chair. Whoa. Okay, that was creepy. We're both here. Try not to worry so much. I'm sure he will be okay. Uh-oh. Famous last words. There they stayed long after David had passed. Long after their reason for being there had gone. The doctor called, honey. I have some bad news. The prognosis. Uh-oh. And the doctor called. How did they call? They have cell phones? They were family, and family stays together into whatever end. Oh shit. What is this? Can I go somewhere? Yep. Very cool. I like how they got the little openings like that in the top of the cave just to provide enough light. Oh sweet, I gotta throw my balls in there. Um, okay, let's go here first. We can put our hand on this. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's gonna help anything at all, but we do right there. I got my balls rolling. Uh, here, numb nuts. You go stand on this. Okay, and oh wait, I gotta get these things all to stop in there. Okay, come over here. So that stops the. Which one does that stop? That middle one. Okay. Get off that. No, not there. Quick. Okay, got that one. Ah, shit, and I can't remember which one. Oh, fuck me, no. Okay, give me two seconds, guys. I'm gonna get this figured out. All right, guys, we're just waiting on this last ball to go around. I think this is all I need is to hit it in here, so. Soon. There you go. The signs became more numerous than the smiles. Her anxiousness became worry. Worry became fear, and fear became the wind that extinguished her flame of all too brief joy. 
Oh, man. Alright, let's go in here. Hopefully this will save the game. I think it's probably already saved right there. It's a mistake. It must be. Make them check again. I am sorry. Forgive me. I am sorry. Guilty. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Alright guys, I'm sorry, but this is going to be the end of the episode. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Really cool story so far. I'm liking where it's headed. Kind of curious to see what's going to happen, where it's going to lead us. And the puzzles aren't anything that's like, oh shit, this is so boring. And um, hopefully a lot of that stuff, that if it is going to get into that, I'll cut it out like I do with all the other puzzle games I've done. Just so that you're not sitting there watching me push buttons and flick shit, all that kind of stuff. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoy it. If you did, you already know what to do to do with that like button. And if you haven't already hit that sub button, make sure you do that too. You'll get to see at least three videos every single day. And I got like over a thousand videos that you guys can check out. Take care.